Jesus. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Talk Asia, filmed before a live studio audience here in Hong Kong. My guest today is the martial arts hero and movie star Jet Li, who rose from poverty in Mao's China to become a kung fu champion and Hollywood leading man. This is Talk Asia. Jet, what a brilliant career you've had so far. The Warlords cost 40 million US dollars to make. It's truly an epic. What was it like to work on that movie? Because it had a huge cast and a really huge budget. Uh, so the director tell me he want to make a war movie, not martial art. I really like it, this story. After Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, you see a lot of big Chinese films. The, the, the photographer, everything is very pretty, like a hero, you see that. Then you can think about it, even killing people. It's very beautiful. I say I always guilty, guilty, guilty about it because I walk in the street around the world. The teenager only say one word: "Jelly cool, kick, kick, kick somebody." <laughs> so look like Chinese people only know kick somebody. <laughs> so in the future, I really want to share something in the mind. The people, you know, why we need to fight because we want to stop. One that really did work for you, obviously, was your first Hollywood foray. That was Lethal Weapon 4. Yes. Sir. Tell us what it was like to mash a huge star like Mel Gibson to a bloody pulp. Oh. You know, at the time, it's uh, changed my life. I don't speak a lot of English, only maybe a few, few words. So I went there, they gave me the script, then they want to do testing. Uh, want to shot some sequences with Mel. He's a very good man. Have wonderful heart. Helped me a lot. I think the language for sure. My English is that's a little, <laughs> <laughs> but I have my heart. You turned down leading roles in Crouching, Crouching Tiger, Hidden yes. Dragon, and The Matrix. Matrix. Yes. Are you kicking yourself now or no. what? Because Anne Lee is a friend of mine. In 1997, he wrote a story for me, special for me. And then two years later, they want to show the movie. But I say sorry. I promised my wife 10 years ago, if we're loving each other on the day, you know, very exciting. But if 10 years later, we still love each other like the first day, we, we will go to married. If married, she has a baby, I will stop all the work. Then I say sorry. We will marry, then we will have a baby. <laughs> so I turned down the movie. He, she, he understood. And he said, OK. I say, movie, I can make many movies. But I cannot make many, many babies. So you were eight years old when you started doing Wushu. Yes. How did it come about? My coach, Wu Bin, his name is Wu Bin, a very famous guy. He just thought I have the talent, just case learning martial arts. Then after six, six months, I slightly knows martial art like have something. And then I like, then I work. Because if you learn martial arts better, then you can, you don't need to go to the farmer to become, to, to do <laughs> in that time, you know. Because you, you did after that move into the, uh, the Wushu school and you lived there and you only yes. saw your mum on the weekends. Yeah, only. Tell us what your daily training was like? Uh, I wake up every morning 5.30 or 6 o'clock, uh, running for, what, 400 meters for 20, 20 rounds. And then some little bit training, then go to breakfast. <gasps> then take up an hour, 8.30, start training until 12. And then go have lunch, then sleep. Sleep, wake up, read the newspaper. And uh, after that, you have a little bit break. And uh, in the evening, you need a seven o'clock, go to training again, and until 10. Now after 10, you need to go to bed every day. Like it this. sounds really, really tough. Rough, uh, yeah. tough, tougher than army. <laughs> you've, you've done so much in your life, but what would you say is the one true key to your success? 
I always say today, maybe we need to use three words. Three. First of all, I very appreciate my mom, my dad. If you know them, make me. I'm not here. The second, I really truly appreciate the country. Teach me martial art, give me opportunity, represent China to around the world. I learn everything. Build up the my career. I appreciate the government. Third, I really appreciate all the human beings in the world. See, Muwe showing the Middle East, African, everybody like Jet Li. I want to show my love, show everything I learned to give back to the world. Jet, thank you so much. We're going to have to leave it there, but uh, I really, really appreciate you spending time with us today. Many my, thanks my indeed. Honor. And my thank honor. you to our live studio audience for helping to make this such a special edition of Talk Asia.